Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Oshale here and I'm here with a little life update, reading book update and book rave and recommendation. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the life update and if you don't want to watch this part, if you're not interested, if you want to skip straight to the reading book update book stuff, then I will annotate right here when that begins and you can just skip. But if you can't tell already, I did move. I have a completely different background. I am still in the same town, still in the same state, obviously. I moved, however. I'm no longer living with my family and I am now out on my own, which I'm much more comfortable with and used to because I lived alone for almost a decade. So this is definitely more my speed. Um, I, this is my new bedroom and so this will be my new background I think. I'm still kind of messing around with some things. I still have a lot of my books in boxes. I do have one shelf set up in the corner but it's not enough so I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my bookshelves. Sorry that's my puppy Ted. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the bookshelf situation but for now this will be the background for the future videos. Part 2 of the life update I also moved jobs. So I've just been really busy working and working on my novel, which as many of you know, I'm in the process of editing and querying this year, querying for agents, which I will have an update video on my writing later. I don't want to bog down this video with that. And then last but not least is a puppy update. Um, Ted is now seven months old as of yesterday. I'm filming this video on Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. But he is now seven months as of yesterday, which was the seventh. Mm, so cute. And as you can see, he has changed a lot. He is grown. He is still as sweet as he ever was. He's come into his personality and he is just my best friend. I love him so much and I can't imagine life without him. I don't know what life was like without him. I cannot remember. So there's that. Um, Alright, so there's my life update. Now moving ahead to reading and a book update. So I have read quite a few books already this year and I'm doing quite well with my reading goals. I will annotate the number of books I've read this year right here because I haven't been doing a very good job of keeping up with my Goodreads count. I haven't been documenting things on Goodreads very well. So I'll just put the number here right now for how many books I've read thus far this year. A lot of new adult books, which I'm sure is not a surprise or shock to any of you, but I have also been doing quite well with my need to push boundaries and read outside my comfort zone. So I'm happy with that. I will tell you some of the books that I am currently reading, but first let me start with the book that I recently finished um, that was a part of my bookish goals, 10 books I want to read before the end of the year. I did complete one of them, almost two, which is exciting. So I recently just finished The Heart of Betrayal, which oh, so, 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 so good. It was on my January, February TBR as a part of a readathon that was going on at that time. And it took me quite some time to actually get to it, but I am proud to say that I, I have finished it now and I absolutely loved it. And I did it just in time because I believe the conclusion to the series will be coming out in the next couple months. I believe it's due to release this summer, so I'm right on time with this one. I'm also about 70% of the way through this novel and this is A Court of Thorns and Roses, which I also really wanted to read this year. And I'm right on time with this as well as the sequel just came out, which, oh, I also have a mini book haul for you guys. I completely forgot. I have purchased some books, so I have a mini book haul in this video as well. So that's a little sidebar. But yes, the sequel to this has just come out, so I'm right on time, about 70% through with this, and I am enjoying it. It was a little bit of a slow read for me. It took a while for it to really pick up for me, but... I'm really starting to like where this is going. So as many of you know, this is Sarah J. Moss's new adult fairy tale retelling of Beauty and the Beast and she has really gotten some accolades and rave reviews on this. I'm also reading her Throne of Glass series, you guys. So that was another goal of mine. It wasn't a specific goal, but I really did want to get to that. So I have com finally completed book one, Throne of Glass. So I'm slowly going to make my way through that series. Another sidebar. But yes! Yes, 70% of the way through. Ted. I'm also about halfway through Spindle's End by Robin McKinley. And I picked this up because I have been in a very fairy tale mood. And I love this. Okay, I absolutely adore this so far. I'm slowly reading it because I want to savor it. I don't want to rush through this. So I've been kind of reading this in between reading other books. 
and just kind of slowly making my way through this but this is a retelling of Sleeping Beauty which is probably next to Beauty and the Beast my all-time favorite fairy tale so I've really been enjoying this excuse Ted in the background he's just going nuts um, I think some neighbors are outside and he's just crazy but yeah, so I highly recommend this read. It's very lush. That's how I describe it. Very lush and atmospheric. I'm loving it. Now for my mini book haul. I'm so excited to share these books with you guys. These are the books that I have gotten in the past couple months. As many of you know, I really cut down on my book buying this year and I'm so proud of myself because the only books that I purchased have all been pre-orders. So go me. I even went into a Barnes & Noble the other day and I didn't buy anything amazing so the first book i want to share with you all is dun, 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 dun. this is the siren by kira cass and i believe kira cass wrote this before she wrote the selection series and independently published it but now she has formally published it i don't know if she changed it or re-edited it or what happened but she did go ahead and release this through harper teen so i wanted to go ahead and pick it up it has something to do with mermaids or sirens, I'm not sure. The back says, I'd waited an eternity for this. I'd have waited all over again if I had to. I was meant to kiss this boy, designed to be held by him. All the careful postures I held melted away and I pulled him closer. We were stars, we were music, we were time. So clearly this is a romance. Once again, we have a girl with a beautiful dress on the cover. It seems like this is Kira Cass's M.O. She just loves the book covers with the beautiful girls with the beautiful books. Um, it says, a girl with a secret, the boy of her dreams, an ocean between them. Mm -hmm. So I'll definitely let you guys know what I think after I read this. Next up is another new release that came out in the last couple months. This book is called Starflight. And this is by Melissa Landers, who also wrote the Alienated series, I believe, about um, a, a future Earth where we know the aliens exist. And there's actually an, a student exchange program where alien students come to Earth and are hosted by Earth families. It's always sounded super fascinating to me, but I never, ever have had a chance to actually quite pick it up. I've seen it in the library so many times, but for some reason just have never gotten the chance to actually read that series. Um, so this is by the same author. And right here it says, smart, action-packed, and utterly addictive. And that's blurbed by Amy Kaufman, who of course um, wrote the, she's the one half of the writing duo that wrote the um, These Broken Stars series. Anyway, so, this looks really interesting. I'm not quite sure what it's about, but on the back it says family. She hadn't realized it until now, but that's what the people on this ship were to her. At some point during this haphazard journey, she'd fallen in love with a bee-speckled kleptomaniac, a star-crossed seducer, and his displaced princess, and most of all, an infuriating blue blood who used to call her Rat Tail. She learned that home was a fluid thing, and whether on a planet on a satellite or on a rusted bucket of a ship, this crew was her home. So yeah, I mean, spaceships, um, rat tag crew, space adventures, sounds very action packed and I cannot wait. I've heard nothing but delightful things, really great reviews, so I'm excited to get to this when I finally do, which is what I say about every book, y'all, every book. Next up is one of my most highly anticipated reads of the year and I am so excited. I am so excited to have my hands on this book. I am actually shocked that I have not flown through it yet. And that is The Crown, which is the sequel and the conclusion to the selection series spin-off that started with The Air. So, of course, this is the conclusion to Edelin's story and we get to see who she picks and what goes down with the two most likely prospects right now. Oh my goodness, my dog is going nuts, y'all. Come on, Ted, let's be nice. Um, so it says, a selection can only have one winner, a princess only has one heart. So I guess we get to see who she chooses and who gets to win Elin's heart, and I hope there's some type of a twist because right now it's kind of predictable about who she's gonna pick. But I hope there's a twist. Come on, Care Cat, don't disappoint me with this one. Next up, I have a book that I heard a lot of buzz about and I just knew I had to get my hands on it. And that is Assassin's Heart by Sarah Ahears. Ahears? I'm not quite sure how to pronounce her last name. Her and that Renee Aldier lady, 
y'all help us out i don't know how to pronounce y'all's names like help but um it says with everything lost revenge is all that remains and on the back it says Later, I wouldn't be sure what had awakened me, the smell of smoke or the sounds of violence outside my room. In the end, it didn't matter. All of this was my fault. So I believe this is about like a, an assassin, like two fa assassin families. Okay. In the kingdom of Lovero, nine rival families of assassins lawfully kill people for a price. As a highly skilled member of one of these powerful clans, 17-year-old Leah Saldana has always trusted in the strength of her family, until she awakens to find them murdered and her home in flames. The Das Villas, the Saldana's biggest enemy, must be responsible. And Leah should have seen it coming, but her secret relationship with the Das Villas' son, Val, has clouded her otherwise killer instinct. And given the Das Villas, I think I'm saying that right, more reason than ever to take her family down. Wrapped with guilt and shattered over Val's probable betrayal, Leah sets out to even the score with her heart set on retaliation and only one thought clear in her mind. Make the Da Vias pay. Yo, it sounds like a good freaking time. I'm excited. Next up, I have another sequel to a book I have not read yet, and that is the newly released The Rose and the Dagger, which of course is a sequel to The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Aldea, Aldea, Aldea. Help, help, help. I'm not gonna read The Dust Jacket because it is a sequel and I have not read the first book, but I heard amazing things about The Wrath and the Dawn. People raved about it, people loved it. They said it was beautifully written, that it was imaginative, that it was original. So one day I'll get to these. I need more hours in the day, y'all. I do, I do. And last but certainly not least is another highly anticipated release of this year for me personally, especially now that I've read the first book, and that is A Court of Mist and Fury, which of course is the sequel, sequel? <laughs> no, sequel to A Court of Thorns and Roses. And this book is huge, y'all. Like, like, yo, yo. Giving me the JK Rowling feels right now, how huge this book is. I'm excited. That's all I have to say. I'm probably gonna dive right into this right after I finally get through this one. It's just gonna be like straight into this one, you know? You know what I'm saying? So as of right now, what I'm anticipating is diving right into this before the end of May, catching up on this series, starting this series, <laughs> actually reading this one, and praying to God I get to these two sometime before the end of the next century. If not, hey, I have the new adult genre to keep me company, okay? I am flying through so many of those books on my Kindle. All right, so that's for my book haul. Now for my rave review slash book recommendation. There's this book I've read recently, and it's an ebook, and it completely just blew me away. I love books about female protagonists who've been through hard times but continue to keep their head up and continue to persevere and still keep a strength about them. I hate weak female protagonists. I'm gonna link a video all about that here. But um, I just, <laughs> guys, guys, my dog is crazy. <laughs> I just love strong girls who are not gonna take shit from anybody and will stand their ground and have fascinating background stories. So anyways, the book I'm talking about is called Paper Princess. And it's by Erin Watt. I don't know a lot about the author and the sequel comes out in August. So I really just wanted to bring everyone's attention and awareness to this book because I think it deserves more praise, more... Stop, Ted. I'm making a video. Don't be an asshole, Ted. Don't be an asshole. You're so sweet. What did the neighbor ever do to you, huh? What did the neighbor ever do to you? What did they ever do to you? All right, so Paper Princess by Erin Watt. I just wanted to bring more attention to this book, more recognition. I think more people need to read it. I think this book deserves more praise and accolades and just read it, you guys. It is awesome. I thoroughly enjoyed it from page one 
to the last page till when it said the end. Like I said, the second book in the series is coming out in August and I don't know how I'm gonna wait till then. Maybe July, I pray it's July, I'm not sure, sometime this summer. And I just remember reading the last page and I literally screamed because I wanted the second book so badly. And I saw the second book, you know when you're done reading on your Kindle, it'll bring up like the next book if you're reading a series. And I clicked on it so excited, so ready to hit buy. And it just said pre-order. And I literally just let out this screech of fury and just like, why, why? I literally felt pain, I felt pain that I have to wait for this book. But um, I'm gonna tell you guys what it's, a little bit about what this book is about so that uh, it'll make it easier for you. And I am gonna read the synopsis because I don't wanna give any spoilers um, away and I feel like if I just started talking and telling you, there would be so many spoilers because I love this book so much. So the name of the series is called The Royals and like I said, this is book one. And here's a synopsis. It has a 4.26 star rating on Goodreads. It's been rated 5,887 times and has 1,112 reviews. I think it deserves more. This book is awesome. Um, so it says, book description. From strip clubs and truck stops to southern coast mansions and prep schools, one girl tries to stay school tries to stay true to herself. These royals will ruin you. Ella Harper is a survivor, a pragmatic optimist. She spent her whole life moving from town to town with her flighty mother, struggling to make ends meet and believing that someday she'll climb out of the gutter. After her mother's death, Ella is truly alone until Callum Royal appears, plucking Ella out of poverty and tossing her into his posh mansion among his five sons who all hate her. Each royal boy is more magnetic than the last, but none as captivating as Reed Royal, the boy who's determined to send her back to the slums where she came from. Reed doesn't want her. He says she doesn't belong with the royals. He might be right. Wealth, excess, deception, it's nothing Ella has ever experienced, and if she's going to survive her time in royal palace, she'll need to learn to issue her own royal decrees. Y'all, yo, tell me that doesn't sound amazing. It has everything that I love. I love like really intense high school dramas, especially if they take place in a prep school. I don't like cookie cutter stuff. I like it to be raw and dark and gritty, which is everything this book is. Plus you toss in five hot brothers who are rich and have dysfunction of their own. I mean, how, how can you say no? And I'm not one to fangirl over bad boys in books. But I will say Reed Royal is freaking fanboyish. Like, I'm completely okay fanboying over this one. Reed Royal? Yo. I'm completely okay fangirling over him. He is, as a writer myself, kudos Aaron Watts for writing a character like that that makes me the least likely person to fangirl over a bad boy in a book ever actually fangirling for the first time in my reading experience I'm in all of your writing skills go Erin anyway I just want to support this author like I said I do not know her she's not sponsoring this video I've never spoken to her she's never reached out to me nothing like that I bought the book with my own money I just stumbled across it on Amazon like I do when I'm searching for good books to read and I read it I loved it I want to support this author all of you please go out and buy this book it's not expensive at all just download it the paperback retails for 10.65 on amazon and if you have amazon prime you get it in two days you know what i'm saying two days shipping you cannot turn that down and the kindle edition if you have a kindle and you want to download it it's only 4.99 five bucks okay that's cheaper than like so many fast food meals like for real and this will last you longer and you can go back and reread this so I just want to support this author please definitely go out and check out her book it's so good you guys you know I would not steer you wrong you know you can trust my book recommendations okay I'm not gonna bullshit you I'm not gonna lie to you this is solid and uh, the sequel I will give you an official date for the sequel once you fall in love with this book like I did and it will be coming out on July 25th so mark your calendars, put it in your iPhone, set an alarm. July 26th is when the sequel drops and it's called Broken Prince. It's definitely going to want to pick it up because the way that Paper Princess ends, I dare you not to scream and demand a sequel. So yeah, that is my book rave review recommendation. 
and I guess I'm done with this video you guys it's been so long since I've sat here in front of you and just thank you for sticking with me sticking with this channel I have lots of cool content coming up I have a lot of pre-recorded videos coming up so I will be putting them up throughout the month of May I have decided on a one video a week filming schedule mm-hmm I think I can keep up with that and yeah that's it for this video and I will catch you guys in my next video and it's a pleasure to be back in front of y'all again. Miss y'all. Bye.